Well, well, there is this other side of Angie the Katatumba that everyone would wish to get to know. Uh, sometimes I would, she's so much into the Western culture, but apparently the fact that we are in Uganda, <laughs> we're going to keep referring her to this particular yeah. <laughs> tradition here. You know, when you grow up here in Uganda, everyone is expecting, when is she getting married? Yeah, when is Angela getting married? When is Gift getting married? When is so and so getting married? Like, it's the end <laughs> game, as if, okay. Kind they actually, <laughs> to actually, with the here, it's the end game. It is you've achieved. Yes, it is the end game. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you've left. <laughs> we need to work hard, oh. <laughs> By the way, Angela would want to substitute <laughs> it with working. <laughs> money. <laughs> She wants to substitute marriage with money, but anyway, I would want to ask her something that usually they tell us that women who are <laughs> women who are learned, yeah, women who are highly educated, it's hard for them to get married. What do you it have to is. say about that? I agree with that. And why is it harder for them? Because they know they are worth. They are oh. exposed. They are educated. You know, not like most of these people who are who are not as educated or not as learned. Who are like, oh, why? We begin to begin. It's okay, can go forever and ever and ever. But all those educators going to be like, hey, I have my degree, I have my things here. What am I dying here for? You know, so it's easier for them to move on. It's not a do or die. If this relationship doesn't work, nobody has to die here. <laughs> I can go. So you know what I'm saying, eh? And then also they plan for their future. They don't just depend. And Let wait. me ask you something. Do you mean that? They don't have any kind of commitment because usually if you commit to something, it's there is not some patience attached. And then, uh, that guma business, the singers tell us, <laughs> there, there should be a limit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, let me tell you. The, you've asked a question that a lot of educated, learned women, their marriages don't work. Eh? It's hard for them to get married, and even those that have get, gotten married, they don't. There are challenges. Yeah. I think it's a good thing because the women have a voice now. The women have options now. The women have choices now. It's not like you've done me a favor, I don't have a degree, I don't have anything here. Where will I go, Kangume, for life? No. Those who have ages and ages, 100 years ago, women now, it's a dot com era now. If the relationship doesn't work as much as we've worked so hard, as much as we've tried, nobody has to die here. Stegera, Kangovire. Because I have my money, mm. let's not kill each other here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. eh? mm. Why must we go into the domestic violence route? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that is the reason why a lot of people try to say it as though it's a bad thing. But I think it's a good thing that women now see that they, them so educated and the learned know that they, they are value and they are, they are not um, settling. For less. For less. That's the answer. So it's a good thing. <laughs> Angela mentioned Honestly, why should you stay in an unhappy relationship forever and ever and ever? Why? So, commitment aside, patience aside, for better, for but worse. It's also aside. being patient for what? What are we being patient for here? For you to now. For things find, to work my, out. My, my, my ex husband um, was extremely violent. He, I was the breadwinner in the family, um, I, I, and I didn't mind it. He was also earning some money, but nowhere near as much as I was. And I didn't mind it because I'm, you know, I'm a go-getter, I'm a hustler, I work. And I didn't mind it, I'm like, as long as we love each other. But he started becoming insecure because men also don't want a woman who's more educated, who's above them, who's, you know, they, it, it becomes in, it, it was so, a, a, a source of insecurity for them. So we started arguing a lot. He would break the table, break the things, break things in the whole house, punch tables, Mnanga, you wanted me to be patient till they now those punches start landing on my face. I come to Uganda with no teeth, <laughs> half a face, because you told me to be patient. Patient till when? You know? So the difference is with these educated and learned women, they're like, mm, there is a level of patience. The way I see matters here, the next step is death. You know what I'm saying? Or the way I see matters here, it's a dead end. You know? You, you can, it, now women can tell easier because. They have choices. They don't. Ha it's not a do or die forever and ever and ever. So back then it was like so because we were not exposed and there were not many choices we were not, and there were not opportunities many choices out Remember, there. Long time ago, women couldn't even vote. We were like animals here. The way you see a dog here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Women couldn't vote. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? So women, we worked so hard to be where we are, and of course, some men, a lot of men, are not happy with that. Because they want you to be there to take care of them and don't, don't have too much knowledge now. Just be, who's going to marry you with all be that home. knowledge? Mm. They put you down, you know. And, and you don't blame them because it's in their favor 
when you are down because you're going to now cook for them and clean for them and do it all for them. So women uh, are now and becoming... And if, if we go into the society, the tradition here in Uganda, it's expected of you as a woman to care for the husband, to cook for them, to prepare for them, to... See, that's you know. where we differ. And so for me, because even abroad, I'll not lie to you. My parents didn't raise me to cook. They didn't raise me to be the, the, the house help. So they never told you all those things that they a told woman me, has to... And I know how to cook for emergency situations, like abroad I could, you know, double here and there. You know what I'm saying? Emergency situations. But not to be a cook, to please a man, to cook for... No, they taught me to hustle, go, make money. When you, when you get money, you hire maids who will do all the domestic chores. You, your job is to be out there and make money like the men. Go and hustle, make money. So, but here in Uganda, I would tell you as a woman, your job is to I care for them the every day, never, never. <laughs> And that's why you can see me still single. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Angela, tell us something. You've mentioned about <laughs> the insecurities. We, could, we keep complaining about the insecurities. Mm. You'll be like, ah. Oh, this particular type of men, they can be a bit very insecure. So tell us about the insecurities that you've surfaced amongst men. My marriage, you know, it was sad because I was ready to do everything and I didn't mind it. But there's that thing of I'm a man. How can she make more money than me? You know, even if you do what and be as low and as sweet, it still bothers them. So I faced that insecurity and then it turned into violence. And that's when the I'm virus like, was bye. out of the insecurity. Of course, because you're now uneasy. Every time we argue, and we, we don't even have to argue violently, just me saying, no, I don't think that's right. You know, who are you talking to, Angie? Ah, oh, my dear, I'm like, Jesus Christ. I just said I don't agree with you. The table is flying. The chair has already flown. You know what I'm saying? Like, I faced it in the worst way. You know, so, and that's another reason why women are not settling anymore, because they know their words. And that's why I'm so excited these days to see more women doing great things women are now vice presidents women are now presidents women are now judges magistrates you know women are, are, are doing things for themselves and you'd be surprised a marriage can even flourish better when everybody's carrying their own weight you see men also get they get fed up i give you 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 a till word you know it gets boring yeah <laughs> You know, every day, every day, every day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Then no wonder he starts going to the bar before going home because that's where there is some peace, less demands. You know, so even they burden themselves by making, by encouraging women, women to be dependent. Home, yeah. So it doesn't even help them. But when you have a lady who's also independent, she's bringing in something once in a while, you're stuck financially. And you have a lady who's like, oh honey, you're stuck this month here is 20 million. You get what I'm saying? Eh? It's amazing. You would want such a, so it's, it's better for men to encourage women, even men, encourage your daughters to be of value not to be worthless. Hmm. Let me be here and depend on you, sir. We'll, okay. we'll frustrate each other, Pakalast. I would ask you still this that? one. Are you, are you planning to get married in the, I wouldn't say in the nearby future, but in your mind, does it come to your mind that, oh, well, I think I can't even get married. Then. I would love to. I would love to. So if yes, which kind of man? It's, it's, it's a hard question. I would love to get married again. Because it will be my second marriage, my friend. You are talking about what? Your first eh? idea. Married second before. marriage. Married in my teens, but it was still a marriage. I was in my teens, but it was still a marriage. Um, I would, I would love to, you know. But I, the man I would look for now, I try to make sure it's somebody who's developed, who's making money. Because I tried the other route of it's okay, I can be the breadwinner as long as we love each other. That doesn't work. So you've tried. Uh, getting into a marriage with someone who doesn't have yeah. enough. Yeah, we're thinking love and handsomeness and everybody is just in love can work. But love, at the end of the day, is temporary. It, it fades and the demands become the reality. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Eh? So now we have to look past love and look for somebody who, who can work with me, who can understand me. Not a man who's going to say, yes, Angela, yes, we get it, you have your dad's properties, but me, since I'm the man, my dear, you'll come to Guru. Mm -hmm. in my music because I'm the man. Traditionally in Uganda, I my things because you're the man. Yeah, yes. but you see, there's where this common sense it comes in. So I leave all my things because you're Musajia. I leave all my things that my dad entrusted with me and my brothers. And go and follow your man. Does that make sense? You see, so that's why I'm saying it has, my next man has to be somebody who understands and is ready to work with me 
You know what I'm saying? Somebody who also has developments even more than me. Oh. Who can say, okay, maybe let's have a house in between. You know, you go, so you take care of your businesses here, I take care of mine. Mm -hmm. You know, it has to be a, a win-win. Mm. Even my father wouldn't be happy to hear that. Well, now she got married and, and abandoned your properties and went to her man's house in Kitabi or Kitabi. Where, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying about when you have a, a culture or a country that's more exposed, everything goes up. You know what I'm saying? So abroad, you'd, you'd hear less of that because I'm the man, leave everything. There they try to see how they can work with each other, Together. how they can, they respect each other's professions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's mm -hmm. a bit of a debate. Mm -hmm. But right now in Africa, the majority is like, no, 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 no. I'm the man, I don't want you even if you have heaven. You come to my place there. What is that? Like, what is that? Does that even make sense? So ideally you're telling the couples out there or people that are planning to get into marriages mm. to sit down and figure out things on table. And Before you even sit down, understand who you're dating. Understand who you're introducing into your life. Is it a person who can work with you? Can you, and, uh, can you agree? Is he of the same value at least or even more? Mm. Is he going to bring you down? Is he going to lift you up? Is he going to respect what you have or is he going to undermine it? You know, is he going to diminish it because he's a man with a muzigo somewhere? Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, eh? I do, I do. So you have to think about all these things as ladies and always, always look for a man who's going to build you up. Look out for a man yeah. as you look out for a lady who's going to build you yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because even men these days want women of value. These days men want women of value, women who have. That business of a uh, broke is out. Nobody wants that story. Broke. Uh, broke is out these days. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, usually he, they, they they usually tell us it's it's never been good to to um to emphasize money as a woman as your first first priority. Like a guy will be like, eh, this baby is money minded. And, and, that's where, away. and that's where we go wrong. Because even abroad, they'll teach you that these days, couples need to understand each other's finances first. Talk about money. You know what I'm saying? These days, all the therapists and everywhere, they're saying, say, in, in relationships, talk about, about finances, money. talk mm. about money. So you all agree where it's a, a deal breaker or it's not. You have to be money minded because money isn't everything, but everything needs money. So you can't lie to yourself that let's not talk about money. Let's mm. first talk about love. <laughs> love. Day tomorrow when we need bread. You know what I'm saying? So you have to talk about finances. You have to make it clear that my friend, money runs this household. Money runs these court cases. Mm. Money runs my life. So, so if you're money not talking almost, money. Money relates everything. Everything we're doing is money. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people want to pretend that uh, money, don't talk about money. It's a, mm. What are you talking about? Money is not everything, which is true, because life is the most important. But everything needs money. Tell me one thing that doesn't need money. Nothing. Thank you. So that's the most important subject in any relationship before you even start sitting to talk about how we're going to love and look into each other's eyes. Which take <laughs> or first do your research on the guy or something if you can't be embarrassed to talk about it. Mm. But, but Angela, let me ask you mind. just a quick one. There is someone out there and Maybe they do not earn as much as you earn, yeah. but they are so much interested in you. And yeah, they, they are, are eager and so passionate of carrying your dream. That would be amazing because it's not that he's much lower. He can take care of himself also financially. He's ready to push me forward in my dreams. He's not going to frustrate me that, you know what, come to, to let's move here. I would love something like that. I would love that. He doesn't have he doesn't have to be so 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 rich but he also has to have something he has to be able to sustain something himself to present sustain on me table. also to a certain extent oh. you know what i'm saying and at least also to see a man who has um a man who has dreams and who's hard working you know also you can't undermine a hard working man because he might have nothing today but you can see this man is has potential this is a go getter this is a money maker so I would also bank on such a person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And mm. women, you can tell, you can tell if he's always pushing you. For example, if somebody says, okay, we're in love. We are, some phone calls can come say, Angela, there's a deal of 10 million. Or we, 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 let's go to the island and sit and look at each other. The man who says, let's go to the island because we love each other. To hell with the money. Run away from that one. But you want someone, much as he doesn't have it, he's like, are you kidding me? Go for the money, money first. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and, and I would have such a trip. man. Yeah, then later we can go to the island and when we've got the money, mm. go and look at each other's eyes. 